Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I am showing you guys how to make this amazing cheeseburger crunch wrap. It's so amazingly delicious. Let's not do a lot of talking. Let's jump right into it. All right, family, here are the ingredients. I will leave the measurement below for you guys, so please check that out. I am starting with some ground beef, and also we have the tortillas. I am using two different size, a few large ones and a few small ones. Also, we have bacon. If you love burgers, you have to have bacon. Come on now. So we have the bacon. Also, we have one large onion that we will be caramelized, so stay tuned. It's going to be so good. And also we have the cheese. I'm not sure why I skipped the cheese. <laughs> and also we have mustard, ketchup. We also have some chopped or diced pickles. Oh, I love pickles. And this is a little burger seasoning mix that I did. I will have that below for you guys, paprika, celery salt ground black pepper onion powder garlic powder salt all of that good stuff in there so i will have that below for you and we also have some mayonnaise to make the sauce shall we begin let's go okay guys now i am going to start by baking my bacon first yes you can either cook it over the stove top or you can bake it. I like the easy way, which is baking it. So I am going to bake it in about 10 to 12 minutes. Once you're done, keep that baking grease, okay? You're going to use it later. So now, moving on, I am going to be making my sauce. This is my little concoction sauce, but it tastes so good, okay? You're going to add some mayo. Next, you're going to follow by some mustard and some, you guessed it, hot sauce. I am using sriracha sauce. And also I am going to add my pickles in there, mix it up together, and you have the best sauce ever, okay? Taste it. If you need to add any more of hot sauce, mayo, do your thing okay just know it tastes good and this is like a big mac sauce if you're making a big mac at home okay so now we're going to set that aside we're going to start caramelize our onion to caramelize your onion here's what you're going to do you're going to add about two tablespoons of olive oil to your skillet then you are going to place your onions. Now you're going to cook this on medium low heat. Now don't burn it, you are caramelizing it, not frying, not burning. So keep an eye on this one. You have to literally sit there and keep stirring. So it should take you about 10 to 15 minutes. It takes a while to caramelize. Okay, once you are done, just set it aside. Moving on to making the burger. Next for my burger, I am going to take the ground beef and take my seasoning blend that I mix myself. I am going to sprinkle it all over my ground beef and use my hand to mix in that seasoning. And then it'll be ready to cook very soon. Now I'm going to make two beef patties with my ground beef. So I am basically using my hand to form my patties. You can make three out of, out of this, but I decided to just make two. So we're going to flatten it out just like so in a round circle like this. Now moving on, I am going to place a cast iron on my stove. Make sure it's nice and hot. 
we're going to sprinkle a little bit of oil on there and don't forget your bacon grease come on now you can't forget that you're going to pour that in there as well as some oil you might need a little bit more and then make sure it's nice and hot okay make sure it's smoking hot then you're going to place your beef patties right in there just like that As you guys notice, I am pressing my spatula on the burger just to make sure the inside is cooked as well. So make sure you press down the spatula on the beef patty. Now, once one side is nice and cooked, it should take about five minutes per side, depends on how thick your burgers are because you do want them to be nice and juicy okay so i am going to flip it over look how beautiful yes that's what we're looking for flip it over and allow the other side to be cooked once the other side is nice and cooked I am going to place my cheese right on top of the burger. I am placing three slices of the cheese on there. Now you can add more, you can add less, it's up to you. Now I am getting ready to grill my crunch wrap to another cast iron skillet. I am going to drizzle a little bit of oil, place one tortilla in there just to soften it a bit. Once it's nice and hot on both sides, I am going to place my burger sauce right on top. Next, I am going to add a few slices of cheese on top of the sauce. Then I am going to grab my burger, place it right on top of the cheese. This is a layering process, you guys. Now I am going to place the bacon right on top of the burger, just like that. And next, we're going to add some diced pickles. Oh my goodness. It's going to be so good. And last, we're going to add our caramelized onion and as well as some more cheese. I am going to use one tortilla to place on top of it and you are going to fold this. Now make sure your tortillas are flimsy enough for them to be folded because mine were kind of, I don't know, breaking, falling apart. But I got, I got it, I got it. I flipped it over and cooked one side once it was nice and cooked in golden brown and as well as silved. I flipped it over and grilled the other side. And you guys, once I was done, I cut it open and this is the final result. It was so juicy, so cheesy. Look at that, you guys. I am a Baconator lover. If you love Baconators, you might like this one. Try it out and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed today's recipe please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment down below if you're going to try this out let me know down below also if you're new here to my channel be sure to subscribe so you can join the family i will see you guys on the next recipe bye guys